Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will talk about the cultivation process of papaya crop. Papaya has different names in different languages. The botanical name of papaya is Carica papaya and it belongs to the family Caricaceae. Papaya is a very delicious fruit crop grown in the tropical and subtropical parts of the world. Papaya fruits are smooth skinned. They vary widely in size and shape depending on the plant variety and type. Papaya fruits usually contain many seeds surrounded by a smooth yellow to orange red flesh. The flesh of papaya is very sweet and delicious. Papaya contains vitamin E and carbohydrates. Papaya is a highly productive fruit crop. It is it is easy to grow even in short durations. The raw fruit can also be used for cooking. The latex of papaya is used as papain in food and medicine industry. Let us now see the required climatic conditions for the cultivation of papaya fruit crop. High temperature and humidity favor the growth and development of papaya fruit crop. Longer days enhance the quality of the fruit. Heavy rains during the flowering stage may cause damage to the plant. Papaya crop can be grown best at temperatures between 25 degrees centigrade to 35 degrees centigrade. A warm and dry climate is needed in ripening season. Let us now see the stages involved in the cultivation of papaya fruit crop. The stages are land preparation, drip irrigation, seedlings cultivation in nursery, transplantation, pest and disease management, flowering and fruit formation and harvesting. Let us now see how the land is prepared for the cultivation of papaya fruit crop. Papaya grows under white types of soils. However, very shallow and very deep black soils are not suitable for its cultivation. Medium, fertile, well-drained and lime-free soils are preferred for the cultivation of papaya. Papaya roots are sensitive to water logging and standing water. The suitable soil pH range for the cultivation of papaya crop ranges between 6 to 7. Deep ploughing with chisel plough or disc plough is suitable for the preparation of land. Adding farmyard manure and fertilizers after each ploughing increases the fertility of the soil. Papaya is a feeder crop and requires the application of chemical, organic and biofertilizers. The dose of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium at 500 kg each per hectare along with 20 to 25 tons of farmyard manure is required in field preparation. Once ploughing is complete, level the soil uniformly with clod crusher. After leveling the soil, arrange the drip irrigation for the entire field for irrigating and wetting the field. Let us now see the arrangement of drip irrigation system in the cultivation process of papaya crop. Drip irrigation saves water and fertilizer by allowing water to drip slowly to the roots of plants either onto the soil surface or directly into the root zone through a network of valves, pipes, tubing and emitters. Overhead irrigation wets the plants but reduces runoff. In contrast, drip irrigation is a controlled irrigation method. It works by exposing the roots to a direct supply of water. Drip irrigation system releases water in a slow and steady pattern and a controlled amount of water is supplied to plants at regular intervals. Let us now see how the papaya seedlings are cultivated in nursery. June and July are the most suitable months for papaya seedlings cultivation. Commercially, papaya is propagated by seeds. The tissue culture technique is limited to research laboratories only. The papaya seeds have to be sown in cocoa peat filled poly bags. The bags are to be irrigated on a daily basis until the seeds germinate. As the seeds germinate, seedlings emerge from the cocoa peat. 
due care is taken to avoid damping off of the newly germinated and young seedlings by shifting them to other poly bags and changing the cocoa peat. The seedlings in poly bags have now grown and are ready for transplantation in 4 to 6 weeks. Once the seedlings become ready for transplantation, shift the seedlings to field and transplant the seedlings in drip irrigated field. Let us see how transplantation takes place in drip irrigated fields. Various aspects need to be considered for the cultivation of papaya crop. The aspects can be heavy rains, hot air, frost, etc. Pits of 30 by 30 by 30 centimeters are prepared in already selected and prepared field at the distance of 2.5 to 3 meters. Care is taken not to disturb the roots while transplanting the seedlings. summer months, the pits are dug about a fortnight before transplanting. The pits are filled with topsoil along with 20 kg of farmyard manure and 1 kg neem cake. Tall and vigorous varieties are planted at greater spacing while medium and dwarf ones at closer spacing. For better growth, production and quality, the optimum soil moisture is maintained by irrigating the crop judiciously. Irrigation interval depends on season, crop growth and soil type. In no case, water should be allowed to stagnate, causing root and stem rot. Drip system of irrigation is beneficial and the actual quantity of water to be given per plant per day should be worked out critically. Let us now allow the crop to grow for 4 to 5 months and then see plant protection in the cultivation process of papaya crop. The papaya crop can be attacked by pests such as fall spider mite, yellow peach moth, Queensland fruit fly, two spotted mite, oriental scale, fruit spotting bug, fruit piercing moth, and spiraling white fly. Papaya is susceptible to viral diseases. These diseases spread through insect vector. Roughing off is strictly followed to avoid further spread of the disease. In addition, the insecticidal sprays help get rid of aphids, white flies and other sucking pests. The major diseases that can attack the crop are powdery mildew, downy mildew and stem rot. Providing wind breaks, well-drained conditions to soil, avoiding planting papaya after papaya and following a suitable crop rotation keeps the field clean and weed free. These measures keep the papaya crop in good condition. Let us now see the flowering and fruit formation stage in the cultivation process of papaya crop. Papaya flowers are fragrant and have 5 cream white to yellow orange petals 1 to 2 inches long. The stigmatic surfaces are pale green and the stamens are bright yellow. Female flowers are relatively large and rounded at the base. They have a stigma but lack stamens.
They generally must receive pollen in order to set fruit. Pollen can be carried by wind or by insects. Once pollination completes, flowers turn to fruits and these fruits further take 30 to 40 days for complete fruit formation. Let us now see the harvesting practices in the cultivation process of papaya crop. The papaya fruits are harvested when they have attained the appropriate size and are light green in color with a tinge of yellow at the apical end. When the latex ceases to be milky and becomes watery, the fruits are considered suitable for harvesting. First picking may start at 9 to 10 months after transplantation. 3 to 5 pickings for one season are often taken, fetching about 30 to 35 tons per hectare. Suitable grading must be done before packaging. Since the fruits are highly perishable, care should be taken to wrap the fruits in paper and finally pack them in crates. Thank you for watching our tutorial on the cultivation process of papaya crop. Stay connected with tutorialspoint.com to watch our next tutorials on the cultivation process of different crops. TutorialsPoint.com Simply easy learning.